Hello friends, welcome to Olive Board. I hope you are all doing well and your exam preparations are going good too. This is the final video which is part 10 of the 250 most important GK questions for the month of October. So with this video we finish all the important questions for the month of October that are very very important. If you are writing the IBPS PO mains examination please go through all the 10 parts. Before we start with the video, don't forget to take up a free mock test provided by Olive Board. And uh, to take this test, you can click on the link which is provided in the description box. Take up a test and do proper analysis of the test so you streamline your exam preparations. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest videos. Olive Board has launched IBPS Clerk Cracker course which is a free live online course wherein we are covering the entire syllabus for quants, reasoning and verbal or English. So this course has already started on 29th of October and will last till 6th of December. To take the course click on the link which is provided in the description box. The first question, recently India and which of the following country has decided to enter into a currency swap agreement? So which is the country that has signed an currency swap agreement with India? The correct answer is option 4 which is Japan. So both India and Japan have decided to enter into a 75 billion dollars currency swap agreement. It is expected to bring down the cost of capital for Indian entities. This is while uh, accessing the foreign capital market. It will also help in containing the current account deficit. As we know that the rupee is getting depreciated with respect to the dollars. So after this currency swap agreement, at least there would be some relief to the current account deficit. The conference on cybersecurity, the challenges and innovations was recently organized by which of the following organizations? The correct answer here is option 4 which is DRDO. Now DRDO stands for Defense Research and Development Organization which in association with VJTI which is Veer Mata Jijabai Technological Institute had organized a conference on cyber security wherein they discussed all the challenges in cyber security and how we can innovate to reduce the uh, cyber crimes and to ensure cyber security. Recently Yashwant Dev passed away. He was famous in the field of so which of the following is the correct answer? The correct answer is option 3 which is music. So he was a senior composer and lyricist and passed away in Mumbai. He had composed and written many popular Marathi songs. He was honored with various awards including the Gan Samriddhi Lata Mangeshkar award and the Gadima Puraskar also. Which of the following has developed a less polluting firecracker to reduce pollution? So of the following options, the correct answer is option 5 which is CSIR that has developed less polluting firecrackers named Swas, Safal and Star. Now these crackers are 50 to 20 percent cheaper than the conventional ones and for the first time an emission testing facility was established for the sound and emission testing of the crackers. Fortis hospital chain was recently acquired by whom? So the correct answer here is option 2 which is IHH healthcare. The Competition Commission of India has approved this acquisition of Fortis Healthcare by IHS Healthcare as this is the second largest hospital chain in the country. And when we talk about IHS Healthcare, it is the world's second largest healthcare group by market capitalization. Country's first engine-less train has been named what? And this has recently been rolled out by the Indian Railways. So what is the name of the country's first engine-less 
train the correct answer is option 3 which is train 18 this was rolled out by integral coach factory and it will eventually replace shatabdi express for intercity travels rashtriya ekta divas is celebrated every year to mark the birth anniversary of whom so of the following options what is the correct answer it is option 5 which is sardar vallabhbhai patel so every year on sardar vallabhbhai patel's birthday india marks rashtriya ekta divas now people all over the country take a pledge to protect the unity and integrity of india and also participate in the run for unity program ill of man international chess tournament 2018 was held at which city so of the following options what is the correct answer it is option 4 which is douglas so our grandmaster b abhi adhiban has finished third at the isle of man international tournament after beating highly regarded michael adams of england now poland's Radoslav Wojtask emerged as the winner of the event and it was held at the city of Douglas. The country's first container movement on island vessel post independence has started on which river? So of the following options what is the correct answer? Where did we have the first container movement on inland vessel? the correct answer is option 3 which is ganga so inland waterways authority of india transports container cargo belonging to the food and beverage giant pepsico from kolkata to varanasi on river ganga this is the first container movement on island vessel post independence of india now this is also the same route where we have national waterways 1 which is from haldia to allahabad The Financial Stability and Development Council is chaired by whom? So, of the following options, what is the correct answer? It is option three, which is the Finance Minister, and uh, they held a meeting in New Delhi, which was presided over by the Finance Minister Arun Jaitley. It reviewed the progress in setting up of computer emergency response team in the financial sector. Who is the first? Latin American women to drive a Formula 1 car. So, of the following options, what is the correct answer? It is option four. That is Tatiana Calderon. So, she's from Colombo, and she's the first Latin American woman to drive a Formula 1 car in an official capacity when she took part in the promotional event for the Sauber team in Mexico. Formula 1 has not had a women driver starting from the year 1976 who among the following has acquired idfc infrastructure finance limited so of the following options what is the correct answer it is option 1 that is niif which is national investment and infrastructure fund that has acquired idfc infrastructure finance and Instru- infrastructure debt fund so this is the first investment from niif's strategic fund india's largest dry dock is found at which shipyard so from the following options the correct answer is option 2 which is cochin shipyard limited our road transport and highways minister nitin gadkari laid the foundation for the india's largest dry dock at cochin shipyard in kerala now dry dock will give us an impetus to make in india initiative under the sagarmala project of the government and also raise india's share in the global shipbuilding market Which of the following is a device that is used to find objects orientation in 3D space? So the correct answer here is option three, which is gyroscope. Now the scientists have developed the world's smallest optical gyroscope, which is a device that helps vehicles, 
drones and other handheld electronic devices to know their orientation in the 3D space. Now it was developed by Caltech engineers and this is 30 times smaller than the one currently available. Hitachi Payment Services has entered into a joint venture which, with which of the following banks to provide digital payment platform. The correct answer here is option 2 which is State Bank of India. So together State Bank of India and Hitachi Payment Services will provide payment solutions and they've entered into an agreement to form a joint venture for establishing a card acceptance and digital payment platform. Which of the following two countries held their first trilateral meeting with India on the Chabahar port? So the correct answer is option 3 which is Iran and Afghanistan. So Iran, Afghanistan and India held their first trilateral meeting on the Chabahar port project and this assumes significance as it is strategically located port on the energy rich Iran's southern coast. Which among the following has launched its first startup program for artificial intelligence in healthcare sector? So of the following options, what is the correct answer? It is option 4 which is Philips. So India, Afghanistan and Chabahar. Japanese born Osamu Shimomura died recently. He won the Nobel Prize in which stream? The correct answer is option 2 which is chemistry. So the Japanese born marine biologist Osama Shimomura won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry and has died recently. He was 90 years old. He along with two American scientists shared the 2008 Nobel Prize for the discovery and development of a jellyfish protein that later contributed to the cancer studies. Name the artificial intelligence powered customer service app which was recently unveiled by the Punjab National Bank and MetLife. So what is the correct answer? It is option 3 which is Khushi. So the Punjab National Bank MetLife together have unveiled an artificial intelligence powered customer service app called Khushi. This app is designed to be one stop shop for providing insurance related information such as the policy features, premium, due details and the fund value and other portfolio details. The world's longest sea crossing bridge has recently opened in China. What is the span of the bridge? So of the following options, what is the correct answer? It is option 4 which is 55 kilometers. It is the world's longest sea crossing bridge which has opened in China after 9 years of construction and it spans 55 kilometers and connects Hong Kong to Macau and the mainland Chinese city of Zhuhaya. About 30 kilometers of its total length crosses the sea of Pearl River Delta. M. Damodaran is one of the members of the six member overseeing committee which has been set up for resolution of stressed asset. So he is the former chairman of which of the following? The correct answer is option 5 which is SEBI. So M. Damodaran is the former chairman at SEBI and an overseeing committee has been set up under the intercreditor arrangement of Indian Banks Association for Resolution of Stressed Assets. So this committee includes Janki Ballab, who is the former chairman of SBI, MBN Rao who is the former chairman and MD of Canara Bank, M Damodaran who is the former chairman of SEBI, HR Khan who is the former governor of RBI. The book titled Straight talk has been authored by whom? So of the following options, what is the correct answer? It is option 4 which is Abhishek Manu Singhvi. Uh, 
this book is authored by uh, abhishek manu singhvi who is a senior advocate and a member of rajya sabha it is a compilation of 63 of sangvi's articles categorized in seven chapters ranging from governance to society to terrorism and the judiciary to the media nuclear trends icons and heroes recently virat kohli has become the fastest batsman to score 10000 runs in odis he reached this mark in which innings so the correct answer is option 3 which is 205th innings and uh, virat kohli broke tendulkar's record as the fastest batsman because tendulkar reached uh, his 10000 runs in odis in the 259th innings now virat kohli has become the fifth indian to reach the this mark in odis main nahi hum portal was recently launched by our prime minister narendra modi it works on the theme of so from the following options the correct answer is option 4 which is self for society now main nahi hum portal and app which works on the theme self for society will enable it professionals and organizations to bring together their efforts towards social causes and services to society on a single platform according to iata 20 year air passenger forecast india will become the world's third largest aviation market around which year so of the following options the correct answer is option 2 which is 2024 international air transport associations 20 year air passenger forecast stated that india will become the world's third largest aviation market around 2024 surpassing uk as it projected total air passenger numbers to touch 8.2 billion by the year 2037 That's all we have for you in this video. I hope you like the video. Do share it with your friends and if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, go ahead and subscribe now to not miss any videos. Thank you.